Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Vue.js video tutorial, we will see that how we can submit the form data to the API. So this is the URL where my API is running. Here you can see that only one data is present here and we will just enter the more data here. And after that, this is the postman. Here we will test the API before just uh, using or integrating in our view because the front end developer must be test the API before integrating even maybe he is a developer of angular developer or he is a react developer or he is in view or anything he must have to test the api on a postman before integrating otherwise he don't know that uh, the error is coming from back end or from the api side or this is my error all right so after that these are the points first of all we have to make a form install the axios uh, package then uh, we have to get the data from the form so basically this is not form this is the form and uh, then we will submit the data to the api and we will check check the result and uh, this is the url for the axios api and this is url for the fake json server which is just i running and this is the result which is provided by the fake api and uh, if you have any question related to the fake apis and the json server you can ask me in the comment box all right so First of all, I'm just going to make a component and uh, let's say my component is name is post component because I am just going to make some posts here with the form. So just right here template and let's take a div here and let's provide the h1 tag just right here this one and now just write here script and here you can put the uh, component name now let's import this component to the main component which is app.view so just simply write here import post form from path so components and the component path now let's register this component inside the components and simply use it like this so now let's check out the result here. Now you can see that component is important successfully. So I am just going to remove this H1 tag here and let's make a very simple form. So just uh, make a form here. And with the form, we have to define the two things. One is uh, basically uh, submit directives. So just write here at the rate submit and the function name. I will define the function name and uh, here where we have to define let's define the two properties of the view first one is the data here we will define the data all right and second one is the methods so in the methods this is basically object and here we will define our uh, post data function all right and now let's use this post data function for the submission and now let's define the method method will be the post because when we are submitting the data the method type should be post always and we, when we are getting the data then the uh, method type should be get so now i am just going to define uh, some more properties like uh, input box and uh, name can be author right uh, then i am just going to use a br tag so that we can just maintain some space because we are not using css we are focusing on simply uh, just simply use this br tag right because we are just focusing on the logical part all right and uh, now it can be a title and uh, after that let's tick a button uh, this is not b this is the button basically and just write here post and button type also be the submit perfect so let's see what we are getting on the page All right so we have the two input box and one is the button all right so now for getting the data here we have to define the properties so i am just going to return a property here with the name of posts 
and post will have the two properties this is the form name which is the post if we are just want to get the all properties of the form then we will use the post if we just want to get any single property then we will use the internal name so just then uh, it can be title and by default value of the title will be the null and same for the author and by default value will be null great now let's bind these properties to our uh, data so just write here we bind and just write here title and uh, the similar way okay this is the author actually and uh, now let's bind the title also v model and uh, it will be title great now whenever i am just going to submit this form then it will be reload to stop the reload just use here e dot uh, prevent default right so just simply use here e dot prevent default and this is basically a function now let's uh, just console dot warn and here you can use like uh, this dot post so that we can get the complete post data i hope everything should be fine if we got any error then we will see it so let's say okay so let's put here the type placeholder also so that we can just get the name let's say author and uh, then placeholder can be title all right why i don't know why this is not auto refreshing uh, i think there is some issue Mm -mm. okay we'll see it so let's say author is peter and title is let's say blah blah for a moment and here you can see that in the observer we got the no values why because uh, we have to use here posts dot author right and here we have to use posts dot title because the title and the authors are the inner property or inner key of the post so now let's try once again author can be peter and topic can like blah blah and something and now let's see we are getting here blah blah and author all right so we got the value here so we get the form value that's fine now how we can submit it for the submit i already told you we we will use the exos api so let's open it and i will tell you that how we can install it i already told you how we can install in the last video but again i am just going to tell you so to save the time i am just uh, copying pasting the code so that uh, we can save the time if you just want to get in the manual things then uh, you can just watch our previous video link is given in the description box so this command will be install the two packages axios and the view axios and we have to import these things things on our uh, you can say that inside the component so we import the view axios and the view and the axios view and uh, axios are bind with the view all right so let's see is it they installed yes they are installed now so now we have to just write one more line of code this dot axios dot post and post have the two parameters one is uh, this one here we just want to uh, post the data but first of all as already told you that before just integrating the api we must have to test it so this is our url and this is my simple data for test and author whenever i'm just going to hit it here then you will see that i got the id 2 and this is the post request so if i am going to refresh it i can you can see that we got the data here perfect so this will be the url of our api so let's provide the url and in the second method just provide the data this dot posts we this is the data this is the form data and after that just use here dot then and in the dot then this is will provide the you can say that uh, 
promise so that we have resolved the promise and just write a result and let's make it console this result console dot one and let's check what is our result so now let's see here i'm just going to sam is the author and title can be learn view and let's go to the network and hit it here and now you can see that the request is sent to the server data which is sent by us and this is the response with the id3 id is generated by the json server so whenever i'm just going to refresh it you will find that we got the one more data here right so we can just submit the more data like uh, iron man movie or something and just write here tony star and just submit it and this is the another api which is submitted here and this is also what you find here you can see that the fourth id so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care